Hello, I'm Gesine Reinert and I'm going to teach a course on the statistical analysis of networks. So first a few words about myself. I'm professor of statistics based in the Department of Statistics and I'm also a fellow at the Alan Turing Institute, which is the UK Institute for Data Science and AI. And network is an integral part of my research, so I'm quite excited to teach this course. So you've already seen networks before. You've got a network of friends, for example. You might call it a friendship network. Um, you might have heard that everybody is six handshakes away from the US president, which is a scary thought. That's another social network. There are also infrastructure networks you can think of, traffic networks, or uh, trade networks, and um, biological networks are also quite important. Um, financial networks of um, banks, so who uh, sends money to whom, it's another type of network. And in this course we're going to look at these networks and we will try to understand what's going on in them and predict outcomes on them. So for example, we might want to know um, what influences someone to take up smoking. Is it the friendship network? Is it the, uh, the network of uh, family members? What does a um, person influence to stop smoking? Is it a network of, um, of acquaintances or is it a network of, of work? So uh, which network effects are more important for certain outcomes? We might want to detect fraud in financial networks. We might want to design infrastructure networks so that we've got a resilient structure which is efficient at the same time. We may want to look at trade networks to assess the effect of tariffs or other trade um, policy changes. So there are lots of questions and unfortunately the networks we are looking at are so large that we cannot just work out the answers by hand. So they typically, if you wanted to plot them, would look like a hairball worse than my hair. And you would not be able to detect any structure. So what we are looking at first is some summaries of networks. And the summary will depend on the research question. And then we will want to see whether a summary is unusual. So we'll, or more generally, we want to detect a pattern in networks, which is unusual if we want to detect fraud. Now, in order to find out what we mean by unusual, we need some kind of underlying method that's a statistical method. And we will look at models for networks, which is one type of method to assess what's unusual. And we will also look at statistical tests, which will help us to assess what is unusual and what is expected. And these, uh, these combined, these tools combined will help us to understand the networks and predict behavior on the networks better. So this is the, the plan, what we're going to do. There are going to be eight lectures, so that's not a lot of time. There are also going to be four practical sessions where we will um, look at networks um, using a computer and see um, how these methods which we discussed will work in practice. The prerequisite is that you should have a basic background in statistics. So you should know what a statistical test is, what, what a significance level is, and it would be good if you have seen the normal distribution before and the Poisson distribution. So these are some, some key features we might like to use. The outcome of the course will be that you will be able to write a report on um, analyzing uh, some network, which could be a network of your choice or some network which I might give you to choose from. And that is also the mode of assessment, namely a mini project where you write a report on the analysis of a network. And so that way you would at the same time hopefully gain some insight into the statistics of network analysis, but also learn some more about the subject matter which interests you most. And I'm looking forward to teaching that course.